this video, I'm going to teach you inverse variation. Inverse variation is opposite of direct variation. Okay, let us look at the example. If you spend more money on food, as you will have less money in your wallet. Why? So, why varies what? Can I write why varies as? Of, co of course cannot. Because inverse variation, when the value of y increase, the value of s will decrease. When the value of s increase, value of y will decrease. So, we can write as y varies inversely as s. So, when we write y varies inversely as s, we need to put the, value, uh, the variable s at the bottom. When we write it in equation, we can write as y equal to k times 1 over s. Normally, I will write in this form y equal to k over s because k times 1 equal to k. Besides y equal to k over s, this also inverse variation. y varies inversely as square of s, y varies inversely as square a cube of s, y varies inversely as square root of s and this one is y varies inversely as cube of cube root of s now we look at question number one it is given that y varies inversely as s and y equal to six when s equal to five express y in terms of s okay first you must write the variation into equation when you put equal Automatic, you put a constant k. So y equal to k over s. Given y equal to 6, s equal to 5, 6 equal to k over 5. Now we need to find the value of the constant. So number 5, move to the left hand side. 6 times 5. So k equal to 6 times 5. k equal to 30. And don't forget, write the complete equation complete equation, you only put the value of k here. The other y and s still remain. So y equal to 30 over s. B. Calculate the value of y when s equal to 15. So now we have the complete equation already with the constant. So we substitute s equal to 15 into the equation. y equal to 30 over 15. y equal to 2. Now we look at equation number 2. It is given that y varies inversely as s squared and y equal to at when s equal to 2. Express y in terms of s. So when we write the variation, y varies inversely as s power of 2 measure here. The uh, variable you put at the bottom, 1 over s power of 2. So when we write equation, don't forget, put constant here. So y equal to k over x power of 2. Substitute y equal to add and s equal to 2 into the equation. Add equal to k over 2 power of 2. So k equal to add time 2 power of 2. k equal to 32. And last, we need to put the constant into the equation. y equal to 32 over x squared. B, calculate the value of y when s equal to 12. So now s, substitute s equal to 12 into the equation. y equal to 32 over 12 to the power of 2. y equal to 32 over 144. And you need to simplify it. y equal to 2 over 9. P. For question number 3, it is given that p varies inversely as square root of q. So table given, express p in terms of q. So first, we write the equation p equal to k over square root of q. As usual, we need to choose the complete value here, p equal to 12, q equal to 4. Because we need to find the value of constant. So substitute p equal to 12, q equal to 4, q is here, so 4 here. Square root of 4 is equal to 2 k equal to 12 times 2 equal to 24. Last, write the complete equation, p equal to 24 over square root of q. b. Calculate the value of m. So now, 
m is here. So when p equal to 6, m, q equal to m. So we substitute p equal to 6 here, q equal to m. 6 equal to 24 over square root of m. 6 times square root of m equal to 24. Because here divide, I move to the left hand side, it will become multiply. And here multiply, we move to the right hand side, it will become divide. So 24 divided by 6 equal to 4. Square root of m equal to 4. So m equal to 4 square. m equal to 16. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.